When a new console generation is announced, most people, myself included, get excited because the console generation we're currently playing, while we love it, we would like to see what is next in terms of graphics, in terms of gaming, in terms of the possibilities that that new console generation is going to bring. Back in the day, we would watch magazines and even videos or whatever came out before the internet was a huge thing, and the expectancy of that new console generation was great. And to see how different companies will fight it out to get your attention and your hard-earned money. But in this current generation, it seems something that might be off, and I want to talk about this console generation specifically. Hey guys, it's Renarco. Thanks for watching. As always, if you haven't done it before, please click that subscribe button and that bell button so you will be notified when I put more videos on this channel. While gaming has been for a long time, it hasn't been until recently that the generations of console gaming specifically has been classified. I mean, when you see the NES and the Sega Master System, then the Super Nintendo and the Genesis and then the PlayStation, N64, Sega Saturn and so on. We have all those console generations coming around and on each one we have seen the evolution of gaming overall and how it has been going through step step and step i talk about in another video that you can watch here then i talk about which i consider to be the best console generation you can argue with me on those comments over there and even here but console generation has something that has become really important in, in each one of the steps that we have seen of iterations of, of new console generations we have seen a major improvement and each one of them have bring something new to the table but in this one Currently, we have PlayStation 5, and specifically PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. We haven't seen something that I think is like, there's a lot of people that are not liking this console generation specifically. And I think one of the first things that might come up is that there's been a lot of controversies on this console generation. I mean, all console generations have them, but this one specifically has been marked with a lot of them games that you know triple a games that were promised to be good ended up being a flaw being really really buggy and else up until three years later that they come um, and fix everything you know, an example of cyberpunk you know an example uh, a lot of lack of games uh, games being canceled uh, and you name it already playstation at one point talking about that they're going to start a new console generation when this one is just four years old there's been a lot of stuff going on and i feel at least for myself is that i feel this console generation has been uh mid if you want to call it that at best it hasn't been anything great there's nothing much to see and we, we, we can have a lot of talk about that, but I think there's many reasons of this console generation not being that good. Let's take in consideration how this console generation came to be. Amidst a pandemic, everybody working at home, it changed the whole dynamic of gaming and console development, everything. So we had a challenge, you know, the, the, all these publishers and developers had a challenge how to work, you know, with this whole change of all the dynamic with the whole world being in the pandemic and the chip shortage and everything. It created a different thing that we haven't seen before in terms of this gaming, you know, gaming consoles and all that kind of stuff. I think that it affected the whole flow that it was before because, you know, the whole industry wasn't prepared for all of this. It, I remember it took a while for me to get the Xbox Series X and I got it just lucky. And But then when I got it, I was like, okay, there's no new games. Mostly for the Series X, I was playing the backwards compatibility games that I had and maybe some games on Game Pass and on Gold when Gold was there giving you free games. But that was it. I wasn't playing any big new games that were specifically for this console generation. It took a while for both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X to get some maybe good games. And maybe last year we saw some good games, but we think that it's not enough. You know, it's a feeling that yeah it was all right but we're expecting more we're already four years into this console generation and when we have seen previous console generation in the fourth year they're full blast going up 
throwing us everything, you know, everything that you can see. And it hasn't been like that. Why is this? There are maybe a lot of reasons and some of them I already talked about, you know, the whole thing that happened when this consideration was brought up. But I think there is one specifically that keeps ringing in my mind. And is that triple A games have become really, really, really big and hard to make to a certain point. You see all this long ass game again, Cyberpunk to name uh, Starfield. Uh, these games are huge. These games bring a lot of stuff to the games, to the gamers, and they take a while. They take a lot of money, a lot of resources, not just to make, but to test and they take a while and while you see these developers and publishers trying to make games you also see the gaming community getting a little bit antsy because they want the next next big thing and they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and when they release the game they want it has a patch already and it comes buggy i'm not you know excusing the developers of doing this practice but Come on, I mean, I mean, I work as a developer, not in gaming, but I work, you know, in systems, and I know kind of like how it works. And it takes a while for something to be completely tested. And when you see a game like Cyberpunk, which is freaking huge, which it has a lot of stuff going on, this big ass open world, there's gonna be bugs. I understand it's not justifiable to throw a game like that but it's been in development for a long time it takes a long time to fix bugs to get it right and it's been across its console generations also just i'll just give you one example to me one of the problems that we're going to start seeing more and more uh, in console generations if we keep it this practice is that we're going to see less games coming up why because these big games take long time to develop, to test, and to put into a place that is overall good. And even that, you're gonna see some bugs and it'll take a while to squash those bugs. You're seeing right now games like GTA 6, it took what, almost more than 10 years to get developed after GTA 5 came around. Yes, granted, GTA 5, you know, online made a lot of money to Rockstar, so that's why they keep pushing, but you're seeing that it's gonna take a long time for this game and it's gonna be even more costly because it's so huge and it has a lot of stuff going on. I think to a point, triple A games, if they continue to have this huge thing of being, being open world, have a lot of stuff, they're gonna take more time to make. You're gonna see that more people going into more indie games and maybe a different alternatives that are more easy and more reachable to them to play. This whole thing with how this whole console generation came around with the pandemic and everything with games being huge and more difficult to make and taking more time i think it's taking a toll on this console generation it's i think it's a shared fall between the developers and publishers and the gaming community itself i have to say myself included you know when we get excited for a game and we want it we want it we want it and that brings pressure they don't want to lose momentum you know the publishing developers they throw something and you know it's not that great it takes a while and also with all this thing happening we're still we're still kind of going trying back to normal after the pandemic you think we're normal no i think it's gonna take at least one more year until we're back to feeling as we were before the whole pandemic and that also includes industry uh on the gaming industry and you have seen it you know it the, the ripple effect of the pandemic of all these layoffs and inflation and that kind of stuff that has also been an impact on the whole gaming community and on this console generation so far again games take a lot of money to make and if it's inflation and all things going people are saying cutting costs and say we're gonna cut costs because if, if we don't do that we won't survive it's a harsh reality i'm not saying that it's great but it is part of this whole uh, game communities do i think this console generation you know like has you know can, could be safe uh i think it's gonna get a little bit better eventually before we get the next console uh generation i think this might stand a little bit i know there's been some rumors about playstation throwing out a new console in the next couple of years i think 
Mm, I don't know. I, 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 anything could happen, but I think what has going right now, I think the, the best course of action will be to keep up bringing out games and trying to squeeze as much as you can of this console. Because I think both the PS5 and the Series X haven't been completely used out of the capabilities. And I know that while it takes a while for these developers to and publishers to, to come up with ways to do it, I think eventually they'll find a way. And maybe this might not be the best console generation, but I don't think so far is the worst. Not the best one is the worst. Uh, I don't know. You tell me below here in the comments. I would like to know what do you think about you know what you know the points that I bring here. Is this the worst console generation, or do you think there was another one maybe before this one, or we are bound to see an even worse console generation after that? Again, let me know in the comments. If you haven't done it, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you will be notified when new videos come on. And thanks for watching and take care.